first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna start with the legs, which what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna take black, some black yarn, and cut eight pieces that are about 90 inches long each. We're gonna double the pieces over. And then you're going to do an I cord, which this is how you do it. Keep doing that figure eight shape. You keep doing that until the I cord is actually the width of the loom. You can see it's going to curl at first, but you can actually stretch it out. And then you can see this one is as long as the whole loom. To remove the leg from the loom, you go ahead and you hold on to the remaining string just in case uh, you don't want to accidentally pull it through. You move that over. And you have one left. You take it off. I actually just take a crochet hook, put through the loop. And pull the remaining yarn through. Then you can tighten it. And there's your leg. To cast on, we're going to be using a pull string cast on. Now what you wanna do is you wanna wrap the working yarn a little over one time around the outside and then just hook it. Oops. So you have enough uh, to finish up this cast on. I'm running two strands of yarn as one uh, just so this is nice and thick. We're going to e-wrap every other peg on the loom. And go all the way around. Once we e-wrap every other peg, we're going to start back at that first peg and wrap every peg. Unhook that starting string and hook that one in. Go around. Take the bottom loops over the top, which will only be on every other peg. This entire, the rest of this uh, project, the body is all done with just e wraps. All right, and now this first one's going to be loose because there's nothing really holding it down there yet. So now we take this cast on string. You're going to notice that first row, you'll be able to pull it down all the way around. Um, it's already coming from in between these ones, like it's underneath this one. So I'm actually going to the next one. I'm going to pull it up through. So what we're doing is this is the pull string part. So when this project is done, you'll be able to pull on this string and close up the whole uh, bottom part of the spider. This first one's going to be a little tighter. Well, actually, that's the last one. We're going to go through that first one since we didn't really get it the uh, first time around. We skipped it. And there you go. You can see as I pull on it, you can see it's starting to pull. But you're just going to ignore that until the end of the project. And what you're going to do is you're going to do three rows of just e-wrap. Um, then we will be adding the legs in. Now, when you're doing your legs, I just start from my anchor peg and I move four over. And on that fifth one, you add a leg, skip one, add a leg, skip one, add a leg, 
and then you'll skip one and add a leg. So it'll be four on this side, and you're going to do four over. You'll add a leg on the fifth, seventh, ninth, and eleventh, just like you do on the other side. Now, how you add them, which let me see here, I've got that one and that one. So I need to add one on this peg. What I do is I just shove the leg down in between. Sorry, my cat's sitting in the light. I shove the leg down in between and I want to add it on this one. So I go about two, three stitches down the side of the leg. You don't want to do it all the way at the top. And I pull one kind of loose and stick it on there and pull it down. It's in place. If you do it right at the top, the legs will be like, let me move this. Your leg will do this. You want it stuck in there better. See how this one is? That one was up a little farther. This one was more towards that end. There's the knot. That one was at the end. So you want it up in there so that it'll be kind of anchored in. You can see these ones. So you want, I'd say, at least an inch of the leg up in there. Okay, so we got that one. We'll do the last leg here. This one will go down a little farther. So you just pull that loose, put it on there. And remember, you're just doing every other peg. You pull down, and you're going to e wrap. When you come to these ones, treat both of it as one. Pull that down. You want to make sure this stays on the inside because if you pull too tight, you can pull it out. And just tie them together because this whole inside is just going to be full of stuffing anyway row is done I went ahead and tied off the legs and cut the cut the extra strings so I don't have that wiggling its way through the body of the spider at a later point now to finish the spider up you've done up to about here done up to the legs we've got four rows all to your on yeah we just did row four uh, there's actually only 13 rows all together to the spider so you're just going to finish up your rows. That's nine more rows of just E-wrap. And then I'll show you how to cast off, do the duplicate stitch. For the last row, I actually cut my second string and just ran one strand instead of two. All it does is take some of that bulk out of that cast off. And I took and I wrapped my working yarn two times around the loom and cut. Now we can do the cast off. Now, uh, the cast off, you have some options. They're all pull string options, but there's different ways you can do the pull string. I am doing the pull string where I'm going through every single peg. I'm going to take it all off the loom and then just pull it tight. Here's your spider once it's off the loom. Now depending on how your tension is, you might have a bit of a seam on that front side where your pull string cast on and your cast off is. So we'll do the eyes on this other side. But you're going to want to do them. I just got a piece of red yarn, pulled it through, just evened at the end. Um, go ahead and knot that. Typically I don't do many knots, but something like this, it's going to be full of stuffing. The knots aren't going to show. So a big knot so you don't pull it all the way through. 
Now see, the legs are here, so I went over like two rows from the legs. So we'll go over the, that one's on that row. So we'll do it right here. We want to go up about in the middle. So I'd say right here. Now to do a duplicate stitch, let me see, hopefully I my camera will get this good enough so you can see the texture. Okay, so the leg is in between these two. So I'll go over one, about halfway between. I think right here is a good spot. You want to pull the yarn. See like the bottom of the V right there. Take the yarn. There we go. And of course your knot's going to catch. And then you go through under the stitch right above it. And then you go back down that first spot. Now we did it right here. Yeah, so we want to do it in this one. We're going to pull that through. There's one. And you can mess with the strings and tighten it however you need to and then just go over a few and just try to get it in that same spot I'm trying to look at the screen and do this at the same time that is not easy okay and then just go through the back and there are your eyeballs. If you want, you can actually stitch like a little mouth on there or just anything else you could think of. Um, I'm just going to take and knot this. Right there. I don't want to pull it too tight. But there we go. Alright, so there's our spider's eyes. I'm going to start with, actually I'll do the pull string at the top first, because that one is less, no, it's going to be more noticeable than the one on the bottom, so you're going to flip it inside out, and just pull it tight, since I've got this second strand here, I'm just going to use that to knot it off with. And take and cut. Now, before we tighten up the bottom, get your stuffing. I just got from Giant Fabrics. It was like three bucks for this good size bag of stuffing, and you just put it in there. Which this one, if you're if you've done some of the other patterns like the eyeball or the pumpkin, this one is doesn't require as much stuffing because it's a lot smaller. But there we go. Let me see. Before you cinch it all the way up, kind of look at it, see if you've got as much in there as you want. Yeah, I'd say that's fine. And you just pull it tight. And then I just take my crochet hook. And knot it. Just pull it, oops, pull it real tight and knot it so it doesn't go anywhere. And then just to hide the end, I just take and pull it out like a side somewhere and cut it and just stuff it back down in the hole and it will never be noticeable. So there you go, your spider is done! A cute little lovable spider. And as you can see, just doing that regular pull string cast off. It you know puckers a little bit, but it's really not bad. So this one I had put the eyes in after. You can do the eyes after you get them all put together, but it's just it's a lot more difficult. And you can see this one I filled a lot more. 
so he's a little more squishy and a little smaller if you don't put quite as much stuffing in him this one I wanted him to be a little firmer but there you go I hope you enjoyed this pattern if you have any questions or comments just please leave them in the comment section below and thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.